RT fails deserve some support. I know. Look at this. <laughs> Everybody's quitting. We can't. This is. Are you guys doing this? Are you guys like syncing up with me and then quitting the match? Um, so I can get a win there. Is that what you're doing? I think that's what you're doing. I think that's what you're doing. Uh, Doom Ranger, thank you so much for the follow, man. And like I said before, welcome to the stream. Molong, first pick Molong, triggered. Triggered, oh. Oh, I'm liking this right now. Don't lay out any immunity right now. Don't lay it at all. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put the double immunity outside with Farad and then and then if he doesn't put out any immunity, even more, we'll, we'll lay out Miss Rika. Oh, there's the immunity right there. Oh, brutal. There's the immunity. Do we care about the immunity? No, we don't care about the immunity. We're going to bring CC in. We're going full CC. We're going to let him have Molong. We're going to let him have Okeanos. We're going to let him have Diana. Okay, we, we are taking away the immunity so that we can somehow... <laughs> we can somehow... Make it happen. Is it smart? No. Deanna is going to wreck the crap out of us. Theo, may I thank you for the follow. I thank you for the host. The one-man army giving us the host. Thank you. This is going to be hard. We should have brought We should have brought Miha Wang in here. I ain't going to lie. We should have brought him in. Rika, Rika was a bad choice. Miha Wang would have been perfect, but... Knowing what it laid out, I think it would have banned Miha Wang either way. Like, I think it would have banned it. Too bad subs aren't free. I know, right, Noah? I know. But it's all good. Like I said, you guys just being here, following me, it's that's that is uh, all I can ask for. So, Dark Star, thank you for the hype, sir, man. I'm gonna need all the hypes I can get. I'm trying to stay alive in this craziness. Look at this one. Look at this one. Thank you for the hose bear. Okay, we didn't get the freeze on. Oh my God, Diana is gonna get so much attack bar increase. Oh my god, I need a violent proc right now. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I need a I need I need somehow to to make CR like violent proc and kill everybody in one hit. Can I do it? God, so strong. Oh shoot. Get that Deanna right now. Bomber. She's squishy. Bomber. Come on. RNG. Ooh. Sheesh. <laughs> Oh my god, don't call it a comeback. We're gonna lose Ciara, but but we still have our freeze from Varad. We still have our freeze from Varad. Come on, Violent Proc one time. Violent Proc, get it? No, no Violent Proc. We're gonna turn things around. We lose Ciara, but we're gonna turn things around right now. We're gonna force them to go for Ciara. We're gonna force them to go for Ciara, right? Let's take out this Okeanos right now. We don't want to deal with the Okeanos resetting my immunities, resetting my CC. Can we get a Violent Park one time? Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, now I'm being too greedy. Now I'm being too greedy. I'm getting too greedy right now. All right. So, Red Link, I don't know if you're... I don't think you're still on the stream, but just, that, just a heads up. I see the Strength Dungeon quest open. So I'm doing it now just for you, my man. Somebody tell me. Can somebody please tell me why this guy just did an AoE stun when I had immunity on? I have no idea what he was doing. Do we, do we put this up? I feel like Ethan's going to rip us up. Oh. Let's go ahead and try to save Beta. We're trying to save Beta. Critical reduction for the win, maybe. All right, all right. Oh my god. We gotta win. Hey guys, we gotta win. That's we're like two and twenty-two right now. We're two and twenty-two. We're coming up here. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Yeah, the unfair bear looks a little bleached, that's for sure. First pick, um Musa, right? God, it's so bad because I you wanna you wanna lay out Ciara. I have other I have other units, so let me go. We'll bring, we'll probably bring in a stripper, obviously. Bring in Irish or something like that. 
We'll see if he goes crazy with it. SWG. I wonder what that stands for. Summoner's War Gaming. Yeah, something like that. What? What is going on? We haven't used this guy. Let's bring him in. Don't ask me why, but I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the need for some Theo love here. We haven't used Theo in a minute. Why is this guy bringing in chilling? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Should we get another bruiser here? Ooh. Oh, man. I'm going to bring this guy in. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, buddy. This is... This is... This is the Rage Blade Arvaris, okay? I'm gonna show you how we get work done with the Rage Blade Arvaris. We're gonna do some damage here today. Let's go. Let's go critical rate, I guess. Critical rate for the win. <laughs> we're going. We're going for DPS. We got the double dogs. Double dogs in RTA. Yeah, I know, right? Rage Blade, 125. Yeah. So I think I'm running attack. Invision, if you look at the stats closely, I'm, I'm running attack there. I don't have a... I'm not running the critical damage rune there. No need to, because it, it's... I basically use them as my permanent killer, you know? Uh, did I... I just realized that I have no... Uh, I have no stripper. Villagel, but... I kind of... Like, I literally have to wait for... These guys to violent proc out of their out of all their immunity. This is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and work on that chilling. If we can. When I have immunity, I, I want to keep my immunity up as long as possible. Uh let's see, Childish, will you bring back the weekly challenges? Now what what kind of challenge you talking about like the childish challenges and stuff like that? Yeah, I know that uh, Jubigo mentioned something on his stream. Uh, or not stream, but his uh, YouTube video about the weekly challenges that he talked to and comp to us. So, um, considering that they're going to try, if, he, if he's going to try to get comp to us to do that, I probably won't have any personal challenges. But um, I have, like, I have the, uh, really, no branding? Come on now already. Ooh, that should be enough to take him out. Oh my god, I should have done the second skill. I really thought I had enough DPS there to take him out. Wow. Rip the dream. Um, yeah, so weekly challenges, probably not. So, like, right now, my my biggest focus is uh, keeping, you know, doing what I have to do for the uh, for the uh, Educate and Dominate series now, since we kind of made an effort to bring that back. Uh, my next recording with uh, one of our guests will probably be uh, two weeks from now, or like a week and a half from now, June 11th. But I'll see if I can schedule something up a little bit quicker than that right now. Ugh. I don't know if we can do this. Come on, break that shield. There you go, break that shield. Then immunity popping. Yes. Let's get Theo back. Oh, man. It's the double dog meta. The double dog meta is full, full effect. It's in full effect. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Chow's too strong. It's okay though. It's okay. We're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get that Avaris love in here. Get that soul protection. Boom. Alright. I'm feeling it's uh what what did this guy I thought I had immunity on. What happened to my immunity? What happened to my immunity? Come on already. 
We need we need a we need a violent proc. We we needed some violent proc out of that sleep, man. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna lose Velajul, but we may be able to come back from this if um if our Marna has that third skill up. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Jubego spoke very highly of you and said you are the pioneer of educated people on how to not play better. Uh, I don't I don't know if you're trolling me there or what's going on. Boom, boom, boom. 8, 10, 12K. We'll take it. Avaris. My man. That's what it is, okay? There it is right there. Don't underestimate this guy. This guy... Is what it's gonna to take to win in season five of twenty eight of uh, of uh, RTA season five of RTA. Okay, twenty eighteen. It is what it is. Athena Storm, welcome back, hun, with the tier two sub. Thank you so much for the support. We we'll get a little hype in the chat one time. So again, I know that some of you guys were like, "What in the world is he doing with this Avaris?" Okay, so you guys already know. Like Avaris is just a, an amazing monster when it comes to uh, you know taking out. Uh, those units that have unique passives that can you know keep themselves alive or for those sustained comps that have uh, tons of revivable uh, mechanics in there um, the bettas the elagers or whatnot uh, it's a uh, it's a really good monster uh, I was still thinking man I was thinking about back in the day what was it the dark Amazon that people were using like that's obviously so 2008 but I feel like this guy um, I feel like he's he is super good, and I feel like people should use him a little bit more because his um, both of his skills, both of his skills um, do a ton of damage. They're both attack scaling, but they both do a ton of damage when the enemy's HP gets lower. So you combine him with the right unit, you combine him with the right units, get a little bit of DPS in, and then just let him finish off. Like he will definitely take some units out. Like I have my main comp. Like he is my he's part of my main comp that I take on for for Molong, Eladriel, Perna, Molong, Perna, plus some kind of revival, whatever the case may be. Um I'll bring in Theo, Avaris, and Helena to tank Molong. You know, Theo goes right before Avaris, puts that defense break on Perna, because of course Perna's super fast and Perna's gonna gonna go right after that Molong. And um even even if the Theo Mars doesn't get the defense break on him. Uh, Avaris follows through um, and just gets gets so much damage in due to the loss of HP from Theo. And and if he gets the brain in, that's even more damage. I mean, he's hit upwards of... Uh, like, when he add all the DPS together, he's hit upwards of... Uh, upwards of, like, 37 to 40k total. Uh, obviously, a Perna has a little bit lower def defense, but, I mean, it's still... That's still a decent amount of damage. Uh, still a decent amount of damage here. So, a really fun monster. I don't have him skilled up, but I think, you, you know, you can... You can uh, get, he's one of those units where you can get away without having skill ups because his uh, damage amplification comes with the skill itself versus the actual skill ups. I mean, you can get a little bit of damage uh, improvement, but um, I feel like it's still good. I mean, obviously, I'd love to have the second skill, the second skill uh, maxed out, but it is what it is. Either way, uh, if you guys have this unit laying around, please, please, please consider building it, especially if you're having a hard time with. Uh, Guild War Siege dealing with uh, comps that revolve around Perna or other like super tanky uh, compositions that have like multiple types of revival mechanics in there, or even just just that annoying Eladro that we all hate. Super high resistance, super annoying. We can't lock him down. He's just gonna keep on violently procking and, and reviving. And this, the Morrises. I've been seeing a lot of Morrises in the in some of the top guilds out there. Like definitely don't want to deal with no passive passive revive Morris, right? Tell you what. Forget that. Avaris 2018 is coming at you.